Regal's EMI measurement application provides a complete EMI pre-compliance solution with scans, peak tests, limits, and multiple simultaneous CISPR detectors. With the EMI measurement mode, engineers compare, analyze, and report on EMI issues throughout their design process. Now that we've set up the traces and detectors, we're ready to configure our first scan. There are several keys to understanding the scan operation. First, we can set up the scan table. Here in the scan table, you can set start and stop frequencies for each of the regions, as well as RBW, attenuation, and preamplifiers. The scan time is usually default to the appropriate time for that RBW setting and span. Here we're going to turn on the first six ranges. That allows us to test from 9 kilohertz up to 3 gigahertz in a few different segments with different settings that really optimize the time and speed for the overall test. Let's go ahead and do that. You can see here we're set in scan only mode. There are different options that we'll talk about as we go through this process, but we're going to start with just a scan. In the sweep menu we can go ahead and hit start. Each time the scan runs it fills in all the active traces. Here we're using one trace that has a peak detector. Each trace can use a separate detector. These traces also account for any correction tables that we've enabled. The engineer's initial scan is an important first step. It provides baseline background and emissions information for our test setup and the product being developed. Accurate scanning is the foundation of your EMI measurements upon which analysis, validation, and reporting are built. 